public safety is one of the primary things that's important to the operation of the city. The city of Newark is the largest city in, in New Jersey. Uh, we have the highest number of pedestrian and, and uh, crashes on our, at intersections. And after a comprehensive review of all our intersections, we found that one of the biggest problems was people not stopping on red. Just less than 12% of New Jersey residents do not own a vehicle. In Newark, that number is 40%. Maybe we made some of our roads not pedestrian friendly really have been a problem. It's a uh, busy city, so uh, there's a lot going on. It's posted that there's a red light camera and you know it's there. You're not going to hesitate. You're going to stop at the, at the yellow light. And people knowing that they're there, to the degree it can influence their behavior, that they're not going to try and make that last second ditch attempt to run through a red light. Uh, you save one life, you, you spare one accident, it just makes it all worth it. We've seen about an 86% decrease in right angle crashes at the two intersections that have been up and running for two years and a decrease in uh, rear end crashes. Seatbelt use didn't happen overnight. It happened over two decades. And I think that red light cameras may be the seatbelt of the 70s kind of thing. Having a red light camera in place also frees up police officers to be patrolling the community rather than sitting at traffic lights. So it's overall safety for the community and safety for those dangerous intersections. So to be able to cover all of those, it does make it very economical and it, you still have the same public safety enforcement aspect that's spread over a larger area without having to have the police officer right there on the scene. One of the most dangerous scenarios that you could put a police officer in because you're approaching a vehicle and you never know who you're pulling over. So that's a very big danger. That's a, you know, you're going into a, a, a controlled environment, but you never know what can come, can come out of it. In Newark, where the red light program has been in place for two years on Broaden Market and Broaden Raymond, both intersections have, have seen a reduce in these crashes. Totally, there's been about 57% reduction in crashes in both of these intersections. On Broad and Raymond, there's been a 100% reduction in T-bone crashes, which are the most dangerous crashes that occur when someone runs a red light. Everything from right angle crashes to rear end crashes are down. Um, the number of citations being issued are down. So people are stopping on red and you know, they're making our streets safer. The facts are clear. Um, you know, there's been a reduction in the crashes. So the end result of the program currently is that the streets have become safer. They've been safer for motorists, pedestrians, and cyclists. It's definitely cultivating safer drivers for anybody who drives in and out of Newark on a daily basis, absolutely. So we want to hold everyone who breaks the law in Newark and across New Jersey uh, accountable for their actions. So if you run a red light, if you don't come to a complete stop, you're going to be given a, a ticket.